Today, we're going to be learning about pictographs. Now, you're looking at the word pictograph. What part of this word looks kind of like a different word that you might already be familiar with? Taylor? Pictures? Pictures, OK. So you think that the word pictograph kind of looks like pictures. Um, that's a very good observation. Did anybody see anything else in this word that looks a little bit familiar or similar to what you have seen before? Yeah. Graphs. I can't hear you. Graphs. Graphs. Okay. And you've seen graphs before. What do they usually What do they usually show? Like, um, like markings, like recordings. Markings or recordings. Yes. Uh, what else do graphs show? Yes. Math stuff. Math stuff. Okay, good. They do usually show numbers of some sort. Yes? Sometimes pictures. Sometimes pictures. Um, are all graphs made from pictures? No. No, they're not usually made from pictures. Sometimes they are. But today, what kind of graphs do you think we're going to be focusing on? Picture graphs. Picture graphs. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to have you move your napkin with your four types of goldfish off to the side just a little bit. On the other side of your desk, you should have your math sheet out because I want you to look at the very top part of your math sheet because there are some things that I want you to notice about your math sheet before we get started with a fun activity. Okay. On your math sheet, you will see an example of the pictogram. Now, what is one thing in this graph that you notice that is necessary in a graph? The title, yes, the title is very important. We're gonna need a title. What else are we gonna need in this graph? Labels. Labels. Veronica, what else are we gonna need in this graph? A scale. A scale, and, what do you, and can somebody explain what she means by scale? What does she usually mean by scale? Catherine. Um, like how many is each picture? Right. How many is each little picture or number? That's a great way of explaining it. Good. Do you have a different way of explaining it, Casey? Oh, no, I was just going to say with each. Okay, good. That's fine. All right. So you notice that we're going to need these different things. Now, you might notice that there are four different types of goldfish on the napkin that are on your desk. I'm sure it didn't pass you by. Um, you've been staring at them for like five minutes. I know. Way to work your self-control. So here's what you're going to do. We're going to have a taste test. And we are going to make a class pictograph of what we like the best. So one person might like cheddar the best. One person might like pretzel the best. One person might like chocolate the best. And another person might like vanilla cupcake the best. Those are your four options. Now, if we are going to do a taste test on goldfish, who can think of good title ideas that we can put for our own pictograph that we are going to make as a class. I'll take more than one answer for this one. We are gonna have plenty of options. Let me get one of the pretty markers that we just got. All right, there's some title options. Somebody I haven't heard from. Eric, I haven't heard from you yet. Taste of fish. Taste of fish, I like that. Taste of fish. Now we also do this in language too, right? If we're trying to make up a story, we have to find some sort of title that would make the most sense for what we're looking for. Kind of doing the same thing here. Can I think of some other ideas? Veronica. Fish o delish. Fish o delish. Okay. <laughs> Fish o delish. I don't know. Okay. Jada. Fish of the class. Fish of the class. Yes? Fish of the Valley. Fish of the Valley. And I don't know if you remember this from oceanography when we studied it last chapter in science, but when a group of fish travel together, what is it usually called? Barbara? A school of fish. Wouldn't that be a good one for this one too? A school of fish? Okay, so these are our title options. Um, put up your finger of which one you think is the best idea in front of your chest so that way your friends are not looking at you. 
And we will use that idea for the title of our pictograph. Uh, it looks like a tie between two and five. All right. Let's go with two because a student thought of that one. <laughs> good, good, good. All right, fish o delish. So we are going to title our pictograph fish o delish. <laughs> Probably want a little thing in parentheses that explains what exactly we're talking about. And you could just say, what do you think? We can just say, Kevin? Goldfish? We can call it the goldfish, goldfish. taste test. Goldfish. All right. Now, along the sides, you notice on your paper that there are labels. And we mentioned that we are going to need labels for our pictograph. What do you think our labels are going to need to be in this case? Who can tell me one label we're going to need and try to go in order if you can, so that way it's kind of consistent with the way we're doing it, okay? Um, Nathan, what's one that we're doing? Cheddar fish. Cheddar! Good, excellent. So we're going to have cheddar off to the side right here. This is usually where your labels go. It's going to be off to the left. Your title goes in the middle at the top usually. What else are we going to do, Mariah? Pretzel. Pretzel, very good. Pretzel we're gonna do in red. We're color coding it so it's easier to see from a distance. Okay, then Alex? Chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, I can't go without chocolate, right? Chocolate. And finally, what's our last one we're going to be going for? Miss Brenna? Vanilla cupcake. Vanilla cupcake, that's right. All right. Vanilla cupcake. What do you think the picture to represent our goldfish should be for a pictograph? What do you think makes the most sense in this case? Emily? Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese, okay. You want to have a piece of cheese to represent each picture? That's a good idea. Can anybody think of anything different? Yes? Fish. Okay, fish. That makes sense, absolutely. All right, we'll use it between those two. Raise your hand if you feel good about cheddar. Okay, how do you feel about fish? We'll do fish, okay. <laughs> but thank you for your suggestion, it was awesome. Okay, so we're gonna put fish and it's going to smile, just like your goldfish, right? And how much do you think each fish should stand for? What is our scale going to be? Ooh. Joseph? Five per goldfish? Five per goldfish? OK. How many kids do we have in the class? You don't know? <laughs> Usually have 19. We're down two today, so we have 17 today. Okay, yes? <coughs> 10. 10? Okay. But what happens if only one student likes the, that flavor? Then how would we draw a fish that's only like one tenth of a fish? Okay. One more. Nathan, what do you think? Three? Three? Three, seven. Three. Yeah. Maybe, but what if only one person likes that flavor? <laughs> you can't drive just the tail or something, right? So, what do you think makes the most sense in this case with a class this small? Barbara? One. One. It should probably be one in a case this small. But remember when we talked about census, census <laughs> then you're not going to draw 150,000 people to represent the town of Lancaster. Then you would have something that represents it more. But in this case, each fish should probably equal one person. OK. <clears throat> now, the fun part. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to go through a taste test. You are going to, on my mark, try each flavor differently, OK? So the first thing I want you to do is you may eat one cheddar goldfish, which should be in the top left-hand square. Eat one cheddar goldfish right now and tell me how you feel about it. 
Well, don't tell me how you feel about it quite yet. But get a good taste in your mouth. Okay. Maybe make a little note on a scale of maybe 1 to 5 or 1 to 10 how much you really like that one. So that way you kind of remember how you felt about it. Don't worry. You'll have two reminders after this one to tell you how you felt. Okay. Clean off your tongue a little bit. Okay. You're going to try your pretzel one next. Try your pretzel one. Okay. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Okay, try the chocolate one. Yes. I know. Mm. Oh, mm. Mm. Or two. Mm. Okay. Mm. Tell me how you feel about chocolate. Mm. On your post-it note, just for yourself, you can do this however you like. Okay. Okay, and then try your vanilla cupcake mm. one more time. Sure. Yeah. Once your your tongue's full. This is a new flavor for the company itself, so. <laughs> Try your vanilla cupcake ones with her. Alright. <clears throat> one more time. Try your cheddar one just to remind yourself. I want to make sure you're really sure about the decision that you choose. Okay. Good. Try a pretzel one again. Thank you for waiting for my mark. That's very good. Proud of you guys. Try the pretzel one. Okay. I know this is going to pain you, but try the chocolate one one more time. <laughs> I know this is torturesome, but try the vanilla cupcake one more time. Okay. Now, there are 17 of you in here. I want to make sure that you vote once and only once. In order to ensure this, uh, once you make a vote, you know what your four options are, right? You have cheddar, pretzel, chocolate, and vanilla cupcake. Once you ensure you're, what you're sure you're going to choose, you're going to raise your hand, I'm going to say your name, then put your head down so that way I know that you have already voted, okay? So that way I know that we end up with 17 fish up here somehow, some way, to represent what our class likes the most out of these four flavors of goldfish by using a pictograph. Now, yes Nathan, do you have a question? What are we going to do with the last the ones? Oh, we're going to see how you make it through the rest of this lesson and you might be able to have them. Okay, ready? I'm going to keep them on your desk right now, no touchy touch. All right. Okay. <clears throat> With a quiet show of hands, how many of you liked cheddar the best? <laughs> Couldn't see that one coming. Okay. With a quiet show of hands, tell me if you like the pretzel one the best. <laughs> you people. <laughs> okay. The quiet show of hands, tell me which one's like the chocolate the best. Okay, one, Nathan, Casey, Jada, Jerry, Veronica. Did you change your mind? Okay. So how many fish, I had, I counted off five students, how many fish should I put next to chocolate to represent chocolate? Kevin? Five. Very good, because our scale is one fish per, per person. So, five fish, let's draw it up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, make sure if you voted already, your head is down. Now, I, I have an inkling. But if you chose vanilla cupcake as your favorite, please raise your hand. This should probably be the remainder of the class. Okay. Kevin, Eric, <laughs> Mariah, Br uh, Barbara, Brenna, David, Emily, Catherine, Alex, Taylor, Damaris, Joseph. Okay, heads down. So if I have 12 other students, 
who really liked vanilla cupcake, how should I, how many fish do I need to draw next to vanilla cupcake in order to represent vanilla cupcake lovers in here? Eric? Twelve. Twelve, okay. So, count along with me. Ready? You can put your heads up now. I know that you guys all voted. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, Now, this is our class Fish O Delish Goldfish Taste Test pictograph that we have created as a class. Now, do you think if we were to take this pictograph to a different class and try to tell that, or just have them read it without us telling them anything about it, what can they learn from this, from this pictograph? Can you tell me what the class's favorite type of fish was? Kevin? Vanilla cupcake. Yes, vanilla cupcake. How'd you know that? <laughs> Barbara? Uh, I mean, Brenna. <laughs> They're right next to each other. <laughs> Twelve fish and vanilla cupcake and only a five in the two. And a sad nothing for cheddar and pretzel. <laughs> That's right. Okay, how many more students liked vanilla cupcake more than chocolate? <laughs> Joseph? I'm sorry, no, I can't hear you. Go with your first answer. Seven. Seven, yes, because 12 minus 5 equals 7. Seven more students like vanilla cupcake than chocolate. How many more students like vanilla cupcake than pretzel? <laughs> Jerry? 12. Excellent. 12. Very good. All right. Now you're going to look at your pictograph that's on your paper, and we're going to do this lesson together.